guys, welcome to another episode of Tuesday Reviews. In this week's episode, we are going to introduce you to the world of the Westworld. Now, the basic subplot of this amazing TV series is that humans are, I don't know what to say, satisfied with the world and they want something more. Something that could blur the thin line between what's real and what's not. So Westworld, the fantasy theme park, is created by humans to fulfill that very desire of being whomever they want to be and doing whatever they want to do. So Westworld typically consists of the guests and the hosts. Bring yourself back online. Hello, Teddy. Hello. How are you? I'm good. Where am I? Dolores. What is this? Where have you bought me? Freeze or auto functions. Ford told me this was going to happen. Let's see. Uh, drop down the aggression. Brought down this. Alright. Bring yourself back online. Analysis. So this is what Westworld is all about, the interactions between human and a humanoid. So to know more about the story of Teddy, Robert Ford, Dolores and Bernard, watch Westworld. So far they have been two seasons and both have been equally spectacular. In today's movie review, we are reviewing the latest movie to hit the theatres, Sanju, starring Ranbir Kapoor, Dia Mirza, Anushka Sharma, Sonam Kapoor and a strong supporting star Vicky Kaushal. So the plot basically hovers around Sanjay Dutt's life as you know as it's very controversial. So the first half mainly focuses on his uh, on his uh, addiction to drugs and how he recovers from it and the second half is mainly focused on his court cases. As far as performances go Ranbir Kapoor is amazing as Sanjay Dutt. Uh, except for the initial one or two minutes of the movie you cannot tell that it's Ranbir Kapoor. You act, you're, you're living Sanjay Dutt's life, basically. Yeah, uh, the supporting star cast was amazing. Ranbir Kapoor, I have now no words to say, hands down, he has done an amazing job. It's not about just imitating Sanjay Dutt, but to carry off that performance and his story with that kind of performance was amazing. Special mention to Vicky Kaushal. Now, he is a rising star in Bollywood. His movies such as Basan, Love Per Square Foot, I think he was in uh, Raman Raghav too. He is uh, uh, even in Lust Stories, which is the latest movie released by Netflix. Amazing actor, and he has shown what kind of an actor he is in this movie too, supporting uh, as a supporting star cast in the movie Sanju. As for the overall review of the movie, I would give it a 3.5 out of 5. Uh, in terms of uh, story, uh, we get to see Sanjay's life through his own eyes and all the decisions he has made for which he regretted and paid the price. And it's a very candid movie in which he's uh, in which he admittedly uh, reveals all uh, facets of his life. And um, yeah. I think uh, uh, for the stars, uh, especially Ranbir Kapoor, and uh, we can give maybe four, even four point five, because to pull out um, and imitate and bring out that kind of a character, it's 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 a kudos. I think Ranbir Kapoor is back with this movie in terms of acting. Uh, I'm definitely, I cannot say I'm a hardcore Ranbir fan, but there are some movies where he just blows our mind, and you really need to give credit for it. So yeah, that's movie. That's Sanju. That's sure. our movie review for Sanju. And in sports review, we are back with the updates on the 2018 FIFA World Cup. Um, before that, what do Germany, Argentina and Portugal have in common? They are all out of the World Cup. So this World Cup is perhaps turning out to be one of the most intriguing, one of the most amazing World Cups that I have ever witnessed. And um, so far it has been very tough to uh, really predict as to who's gonna win the World Cup. 
and a lot of people were making it a battle between Messi and Ronaldo but guess what they are out of the World Cup even before the quarterfinals so and let's admit it or deep down as great as amazing as these players are they re never really had a team that could take them through to the trophy or through to even the final as I'm speaking to you right now Spain is playing uh, Russia and uh, the next match in uh, today's lineup is Croatia versus Denmark so I can't wait to see those matches and hopefully we'll include this, that, those two in the review and um, in other news uh, we have Wimbledon starting next week uh, Roger Federer is playing, Rafael Nadal is playing, Andy Murray is playing uh, Novak Djokovic is playing so all your top uh, four favorite players are playing this Wimbledon and it's going to be an exciting contest uh, as usual my support would be for Roger Federer but uh, let's see I think uh, Rafael Nadal has a better chance this time uh, knowing that he has come fresh off winning uh, on his favorite turf that's Roland Garros that's all that we have time for in this week's episode of Tuesday Reviews hope to catch you next week same time same place